Hello and welcome to my second episode. So I basically in my previous session explained what is project about. Now I will show you my um, project web page so you can understand how I uh, structured this uh, project. So here you see the page on my GitHub. You have here different categories, project milestone plan, so as I said earlier I will determine uh, my approximation of my project result by TDD and mostly important is contribution, so look, look here, uh, this is quite of rules by which I wish to implement my project. And if you don't like it, you can at some point just take a fork and do your own project basically based on my project. But I will do this strictly. So just look at these rules, there's not so many, but it's very quite very important that you understand how this project is developed. And of course, any legal concerns, you can contact me and we can speak about this. But I hope would not have any legal problems. So here at project documentation, it is very important that you download uh, the special specification requirements which I have for this project which I developed for these projects and just uh, read this uh, very thorough and give me uh, some feedback about what you understand what you don't understand I have a um, test cases in form of UML diagrams which you can read if you want to be an active active developer of this project or just uh, give some advice you can not only email me, I have here a forum, so here I have community forum and you can register there and just yeah, just to give me some expressions uh, what you wish to have in this project. But as I said earlier, I, I cannot uh, promise any future, additional future implementations which I probably only implement after my first initial build is done. Uh, all of the features which I wish to do, they are mentioned in the target specification and requirement specification. So these features, the core features of my tool are goal to be implemented. Any additional features at this point of time I cannot implement. I just not have enough time for this but if you like my project just go to my page and give some expression how do you like it or not I take any uh, I take any feedback but I'd rather do this proactively so my project is my own I am a full owner of my product. Uh, it is JPL free licenses after all, but if you wish to work with me, then you must understand that I am a product owner and I have like like to say the last word on what should be done or not in my project. So this is my rules and regulations. Here's the site. And second thing which I wish to, to do I will discuss the domain complexity of this project. So, for example, let me consult that. Okay. So, the project complexity of this of this project. <laughs> some sort um, repeating myself, but I wish to give some expressions to what should be 
done. What should be done? So sorry for some drawing, but so here you. Oh, this bad. Can can I just have a pointer? Okay, so this is a point where I do my analysis of this project. Uh, my situation. I have uh, three files. Um, these are XML files. Each of these files consists very important information for the presentation of the channels. Um, here, for example, I have I have buckets XML. Buckets XML and another file satellites XML satellite XML and here I have um, services XML. These files are very important. They are saved. They are generated, actually, not saved. Uh, they are generated by the satellite receiver, the box two, for example. And what should I, what should I do? What should be done? Basically, oops. Basically, I must read all these XML files to my application okay I will do this simplified simplified presentation this is my Java Java app I must read all 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 of this xml file files <coughs> sorry and after i read all of these files uh, my java program must save the information in models so as xml as a standard is very verbose format it's very different from XML to XML. Uh, this is quite a challenge because I need to read attributes of each line and I must create such structures which represent this information at full extent. So I won't uh, lose any information when I do this transformation. So basically what I wish to, to tell you that can I can I delete all yes basically basically I have a I have a situation that I need to create models which will consist an information about uh, about uh, of those ex mentioned XML files. So each of this class just a container for the information. And why I'm speaking about architecture at this point? I did not did not written any code, but this is a very important thinking process for me because I I know that I'm need to write to 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 create such structures which will provide this information so for example if i have here satellites information there here i have here buckets and services so how all of these things structured uh, buckets 
contents uh, user created groups I mean this is actually what a user see when he uh, look at the channel lists here in services you have here uh, information about all of channels which your satellite receiver did found so it's like a catalog catalog this is like special view special user view and satellites consist an information of which satellites uh, at which frequencies and at which polarization types consist information so basically I will do once again uh, I need to read read XML then I need to save XML data I uh, save XML XML data in some sort of container save XML to container and container it's not a really good definition it's I will say model 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 to say model is, is better so I will save it to my to my model okay model and I I will uh, draw once again a problem I have satellite information S this information about satellites which I can scan with my device I have a list of channels I have a, a user friendly groups which consist uh, a channels which user did picked up and save them in special categories its name is buckets services and the dependency will be like following the satellite model it is a very independent class so basically it has no dependency to my buckets list and it has no dependency to my channel list channel services list but channel services list actually need an, need an access to satellites in the case when the satellite object must be updated so so it would be it should be in sync the connection between channel services catalog and satellites satellites information the buckets has a dep dependency to the services because uh, channel services consist an information which you is used by the buckets class if you feeling some sort of confusion have a confusion this is okay um, I can only say following their uh, PDF document which in German language and if you use a translator you can read through all of these settings which this satellite device I use so basically this is a, one of the challenges at this project to understand the XML structure between three separate fi files so you ask me but wait uh, what about graphic user interface how will you manage this um, currently I'm have a following imagination how I basically do this first I write I write my models uh, I write 
I write uh, reading reading XML and I will make sure that I follow crude principle crude principle it's like reading writing and further manipulations deleting deleting updating so delete and update so it's very important to me to be sure that I can read XML without any problems that I can manipulate the information from these XML files and that I can make it that as that I can make sure that this, this information is consistent in all of my data structures which I will use in my project it's a very important to make sure that your data structure is consistent and is uh, clean it's very important after after that after that you have your model done then you have another task the other task will be writing a controller and GUI as I said earlier I will use Java FX but But um, the part of the GUI will be created not in the form of the code. It will be uh, created in the form from FXML. FXML, let me delete it. What I mean by that? FXML, it is an output format of the program Scene Builder. This is a VZWing tool, which you see is what you get. Oh, I'm right or wrong. But anyway, Scene Builder will be used to create forms with buttons, buttons, and layout, things like that. I hope you don't <laughs> hate me for my drawing, but I'm not a designer, I'm a programmer. And um, Scene Builder will be used for creating for for creating layout forms. Layout form, layout form. It's a FXML as I said previously. It will be loaded in my Java class. After that, I can do manipulations directly at this at, at the objects which will be created from the fxml file and this will be probably a very fun part because i will do it in tdd but the gui for me it's like once again i i repeat how I will structure my project. First, read XML. Make sure, make sure the data model is consistent. Data model is consistent. Three, create a GUI. And controllers and that's it of course you need a documentation yeah I very think I will thinking about documentation through through whole development and probably at some stages I'm um, at some final stages I will write my documentation it's very essential part of the project writing a documentation but the documentation should be done in such way that is accurate, that is understandable, that is um, not abstract. It's 
right to the point it should be practical documentation which helps you but shouldn't be alike for many projects which I see like reference documentation I, we, I probably won't create reference documentation I will create a user manual a brief overview and that's it but this is my project and once again it will be done by TDD the tests driving the development process maybe at some points I will use mockups but I will probably not do that and once again I try oh sorry um, I will try to explain what is a challenge challenge is to take the information from XML files and to save them to the object models after that after saving the information into the model objects I need to make sure that the data between this all of these objects are consistent so now that I will not have some by difficult situations that some data is corrupted or some data is not updated that should be prevented and of course I must say following I am not fan of a such thing like design first implementation so don't think that I have a, a already a design of application no I have a, some sort um, view which give me the path to where I should develop my application the final design will be done during the TDD process and how it drives my project but first first design project uh, it's not my way to develop things some some commercial projects are actually done by such way and they are very complicated and it takes many 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 years to to do it right so this is a small project which I have and I think it's possible to write it in very casual way but anyway it should be done cleanly and it should should have clean architecture so this is my like I say this is my analysis of my current situation at my project and that's it thank you all and to the next session